I am the motographer. In 2019, I embarked on the journey of a lifetime on the fantastic Indian-made Bajaj Dominar 400s, christened as the XBB Dominar Creation Odyssey. The road trip went from New Delhi, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Malaysia, and finally to the tip of Singapore and beyond to Sri Lanka. Here we go. Look at this. So, anti-aircraft, artillery, guns, and then you have all these installations. I've actually never seen such an open-air museum before. Truthfully, uh, there must be few, but uh, I haven't seen them. So, and uh, this rem reminds me of the Ninja H2 and the Ducati that we took in Australia to a, a hangar actually there is practically no one here there is no one you can just go in see what you want yeah pretty amazing so I don't think you'll see this too many places in the world on a public road but if you see that sign over there the yellow sign on my left it says aircraft crossing ahead so they use this road to actually um, ferry aircraft from this part to the other so maybe the time to ask is why did the aircraft cross the road <laughs> oh, not why did chicken cross the road this is the Paya Libar Air Base I mean, I haven't seen such a relaxed setting of an Air Force base than this. It's like, practically if someone wants to go anywhere, they can. And on my left there's a sign saying protected place. You will be shot if you enter this. I mean, literally, the board on my left says that. And there's a sign also. The, a guy shooting a man oh well all right so here's a sign aircraft crossing head and uh, you can see the tire marks basically of the planes crossing so the supercar spotting continues with the Maserati all right so 14,000 kilometers, 14,000 kilometers plus one road from Delhi till Singapore. These are the last two kilometers before we have to leave the bike at the warehouse where it will be shipped from to Colombo. This has been an amazing journey. Just Telling you about the experiences in short will take me around few hours. So, I mean, Delhi to Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Malaysia, and then Singapore. On one road, pe, uninterrupted. It is. I am still wrapping my head around it. It is one of my best rides in terms of the logistics, the amount of paperwork required, especially 
getting to Singapore and uh, managing uh, people, different riders, their logistics, and each rider was different. Like managing their expectations, riding with them, the riding style, and um, almost no mishaps, sirf ek. Deepak Bhai ke saath. A short break to tell you about myself. In 2002, I founded XBHB, which is India's most popular motorcycling platform and print magazine. Since 2006, I have been riding around the world on choicest of the motorcycles and supercars. Do check out the XBHB forums, which are a great place to discover fantastic information on motorcycling in India. Also help us sustain ourselves by picking up a copy of the XBHP print magazine delivered to you at your doorstep if you are in India or available at one of the premium bookstalls around India. You can also read the digital version online. The link is in the description below. Now let's get back to the Odyssey. Uh, and nothing serious happened at all thankfully. So no accidents, no untoward incidents. And no visa hiccups, no paper hiccups. Uh, this is rare uh, because we did this for the first time and I don't think we are going to do it again. So all I can say is as I enter, as I take this left, it has been an, uh, a privilege to ride an Indian made motorcycle all the way from India to Singapore across so many countries and I've got perspective about so many different cultures, people Anyway, so we are here in uh, where we have to drop the bike One bike was already dropped So this is a uh, Sunday and uh, that guy has specially come for us for a little while so we have to leave the bike somewhere here So that is the bike number one and bike number two and From here this will be shipped to Colombo Hello, Sunny Sunny Yes, Jack. nice to meet you Nice to meet you Oh, the same bike sir huh? Yeah So, they are standardized pedals Jack, here is helping us out with the uh, shipping and uh, one of these trucks yeah. no containers containers, containers. containers. oh here yeah. oh yeah the bike is going to go inside the container the container is going to go on the port the container will then go in a ship the ship will go on the ocean it will reach colombo <laughs> so this container is only for us and three bikes, maybe we can also go to Colombo in this. I think that's illegal, but I don't know. Can we go on a container ship also? Like, uh, not in the container, but as part of the ship? No, uh, as no, as part of the no, no way. Yes, <laughs> sir, we have to load it here, lock it here, then go to customs, yeah. then doors, and then we ship it to the terminal. That's it. Yeah. Right? So now you can see how the process will be done for lashing. Yeah, everything will be done, so it will be secure. Once you see it's secure, and if the, uh, there is a storm, <laughs> a storm, it's okay for a vessel, shipping vessel. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, maybe you can say hijack would be good. <laughs> so I hope there is no storm. Hijack? Hijacking happens? Other countries, right? In Somalia. Okay. In Africa, right? Here, no hijack. So, guys, this is this is the first time we are doing something like this shipping bike in a container which will go in a ship Stand up Okay Stand up and down Yeah, you go up And uh, I hope Hulk also does not get seasick <laughs> So We will see you in uh, Colombo Yeah After starting from New Delhi a little less than 3 months ago This was the first day that the Dominars was resting and we must give them due credit for being an amazing partner for this epic ride. These bikes were just perfect for this road trip. And at no point did we feel that we needed a more powerful bike. 
Anyway, we bid adieu to the bikes in Singapore and we will meet them in the next country, which is Sri Lanka, in about two weeks' time.